All right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel at the Regal Gentleman Studio. Today, we've got Alex on the chair. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm doing well, thank you. Good, good, mate. Um, what are we doing today? What's the plan? Um, I'd like to go a lot shorter. Okay. Um, I've had this haircut probably, in, it was forced on me because of COVID when the barbers were shut. Okay. But, um, before that, I was rocking a one on the side and three on the top, so really short. Wow. Yeah. Um, You've got the hairline for it though. Yeah, mate. so yeah. I'd, like to, I'd like to go a bit short, like, I'd like to go shorter again, but not quite as severe as that. I'm happy to take it quite short on the sides. But yeah, yeah. Sort of leave a bit more length on top than I had before because. I work in an office, so I don't really want that kind of severe, yeah, yeah, severe yeah. look. Yeah, um, I get you. Yeah. Something that follows the hairline a bit more naturally rather than sort of boxed off. But yeah, yeah. Essentially, yeah, just something for the spring, summer to mess around and have a little bit of... Sounds good. And just enjoy short hair again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah, yeah, cool. I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, right up my shirt, I love these kind of styles. Like, um, Would you like something that looks like it is um, grown out from a shaved head? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. kind of look. Okay, yeah, cool. Just yeah. Sort of something that I can put a bit of clay in, just have a bit of texture on top. But yeah, I'm happy to have it quite short on the sides, but then just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like mess around on top. All right, cool. Well, I, th I mean, I know, I know what we're doing. It's easy. It's a very good. It's not one you can really explain, really. You just see it as it goes along. But basically, it's just about finger length, maybe a bit longer. Uh, it's more about the texture. It's more, more about, it's more, in fact, the, the most important thing is not going too high with the clippers on the sides. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go down to a one, for example, or yeah. a one and a half or a two, whatever you prefer to do, um, it's just keeping it, about, it's about keeping it low, okay? Because yeah. if you go too high, that's when it looks like the severe high and tight. Yeah. But if you're doing something that just blends out naturally, then it doesn't look, it's not, I, I don't want something to be like, wow, you've had a very high back and side. I want it to be more like, Oh, you're going short? Yeah. Not one yeah. particular thing about going short. Oh, that's a bit tight on the back, isn't it? Or something, you know, that people tend to not say but think. Um, so if we can do that, that would, that would just complement the yeah, whole haircut, really. Good. Yeah. I'd like to keep it, yeah, just, just quite natural. Nothing like a skin fade or anything. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll do it more of a kind of uh, a descend and blend. Okay, so we just go from like, I don't know, probably do like a four and a half, something, so something really quite high, and then get right down to the one down the bottom. And that way you'll find it just, everything just balances nicely. All right, and it's not too severe. Um, but then obviously we can over, over like really texturize at the top so you can put a little bit of clay in it. Pop your uncle. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. sweet. All right then, mate. Well, let's get your gowned up. I've enjoyed having longer hair, but yeah, it's just, you know. So this is long to you, isn't it? Yeah. It's probably the longest I've had it in wow. as long, yeah, very long time. It's crazy. Right, guys. So what I've done is um, I've wet down uh, Alex's hair and I'm just combing it out from the crown. It's very important that we work with the growth pattern because we're going quite short. So we don't want the crown to stick up. We don't want the sides to stick out. We want to work with exactly how it grows. More importantly, is how it grows out for Alex when he, when he gets to three weeks time. Because you've got to think of that as well. How's it going to look in three or four weeks time? So I'm going to start on the top, just before the crown. Now, Alex's crown is on the left-hand side here. Looks like he's got a slight, almost a double, all right? Very close to having a double crown there, mate. If you were left, it, left in the oven a few weeks longer, mate, you might have had a, you might have had a double one there. Um, but no, it's it's just one, so we can get away with that. But we still want to be careful of it. So I always just do maybe, I don't know, half about a centimetre away from the crown. That's all that really matters. As you can see, it's a very he's got that kind of slight curl through the hair. It does sit nice and soft, so I don't have to worry about it too much. But I still don't want to take it off. That's the main thing. I don't want to cut it off by accident. So always separate the crown like so. And then I'm going to get down to probably about finger length. All right, so we've got a nice almost grown out. Um, shaved head kind of clipper cut should we say yeah take off about that all that there okay you happy with that yeah there we go nice small sections fit about finger width Working all the way down to the front, like so. You see, pretty much through them. Now, what I'm doing is, I'm, as you see, I'm angling my fingers forward, so keeping it up straight. Then, as we get to the front, I'm bringing it forward because I want to keep this length all the same. I don't want the fringe to be any longer. I'm not looking to try and create a sort of uh, a, a sh like what I've got, I'm looking to create a short, out, 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 overgrown texture um, crop hairstyle. So very, very short, 
like we just grown it out from a three a few uh, maybe a month or two ago so by doing that you remove the length at the front as well so whereas mine now has got the length at the front everywhere else is quite short this won't have that And you just want to come back through it just to texturize, like so. There's the first bit done. Now it might look a bit crazy because it's sticking out, but that's because it's been going back all day and probably for a while as well. So that will go by the end of the haircut, that'll be gone. And again, I'll bring my fingers to match the head shape. So again, we need this to sort of work around the head. That's what gives that kind of short effect and the kind of almost um, kind of clippered effect, shall we say. What's that? Yeah, I was going to say, I think the thing that I've always found with my kind of hair type is it's not got much natural weight to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always have to wear products in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? You, you, yeah, you, you do kind of to get that finish, but I don't know, you know, I think, I reckon if we were to pour, I mean, even down to texturizing salt spray or, or some sort of salt spray in general, I reckon we could probably texturize your hair enough that it does look a bit ruffled and a bit textured, you know? Mm. I do think that. Look, when it gets longer, yeah, it does have... It, it doesn't have much weight to it. That's why it kind of goes back easy and things like that. So I think it does depend on sort of the, the, the haircut you have. But I reckon, I reckon you'll see the texture today, yeah. without a doubt, you know. Um, emphasizing that texture is another thing, okay? Bit of powder, salt mm. spray. Again, this should, be, this should be so low maintenance and so easy, you know? Yeah. yeah that's, the, that's, that's the main thing. That is what kind of I'm looking for, the spring and summer at least. For yeah, sure. exactly. Yeah, I've never used the powders actually myself. I know when I've been to a barber's, they've kind of, they have actually said, oh, you, would you like some? So I go, yeah, chuck it on. But <laughs> yeah. I've, never, I've never actually bought some myself. To yeah, use, yeah. But I've always kind of used the clays and pomades and things. But That's cool. Whatever, yeah. whatever, you, whatever you like is, is, is cool. Um, I think that the, only, the only sort of thing I think with, with obviously using different products is that it just gives you a different look. You know, you, you're not sort of limited to one particular look. You, if you've got one or two or three styling products, it just gives you a little bit more uh, choice, I suppose, in how the finished look um, becomes. Yeah. But I, to be honest, I use um, I use clay in mine. Mm -hmm. I've got um, I, what I did today was I got up because I came down today. I was up really early, like half four. Mm -hmm. um, so what I do is I put pomade on my hair when it's wet, yeah. and I brush it up and over, and then I let it dry, and then when I got here, I get a brush and I brush it out. Mm. And that's what creates the dryness, and then I add a little bit of clay if, if need be, just to hold it up. Yeah. So that is that the style on mine at the moment is brushed out pomade, believe it or not, because it doesn't go flaky or anything. You can yeah. kind of get away with it. But that was a little trick that I found when I was on a, a show once. We did a look where we gelled everyone's hair and then just brushed it out, mm. and it stayed in the same place, yeah. just dry this time around. It was incredible. So I just do that now with pomade, um, and it's it's one of those things. If I'm up early and I need to have product in my hair, mm. go in the garage or maybe. You know, you're never gonna break down or something. You always just want to look like you've made an effort, right? Yeah. It's a good little way to use pomade. It's a bit of a cheat way in a, in a, in a or a bit of a, not, I wouldn't say a cheat way, actually. It's a bit of a kind of a tip, I would say. If you fancy strong hold, but a dry finish, is just literally put put pomade in your wet hair, mm. let it dry, let it set, and then brush it out. It's as simple as that. Yeah, that's quite interesting, actually, because when, when my hair was obviously kind of the length that was coming in here, what I'd always do is put used pomade straight kind of out of the shower after having towel dried it. Yeah. Brush it brush it back into some, kind of a, a set style, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And then after about half an hour, use my fingers to kind of break up the more brushed look, I guess. Yeah, yeah, and exactly, that would yeah. that sort of how I'd have 
my hair for the rest of the day, but yeah. it would always retain that sort of more wet look, I suppose, even using small amounts. But. Oh, really? I think, I think that's, I, I actually used a brush mm. and brushed it through them. Um, so yeah, if you, if you had, obviously, <laughs> I mean, brushes you carry around with you, mate, but no. if you ever did carry a brush out, you can give that a go, you know? Yeah. Wait, so. Yeah. The nice thing, I guess, about the pomade for me is because working in an office, it's kind of like if I go in in the morning, my style is just set for the day and I don't really have to worry about it because I know I've yeah. got that hold. Definitely. Yeah, pom pomades are fantastic. I, I do love pomades. Um, I kind of go through phases of the pomade though, because sometimes I use them loads. Or, or I'll have like a very short style like I've got now, which I kind of throw it in. But to be honest, my, my, my eldest son, he, he really likes pomade too, but he's got blonde hair. Mm. So what we do is we put a little bit in and then we, we brush it through as it's still a bit wet. And it just gives a really nice kind of um, slightly natural shine finish, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he, he likes it because he's the same. He goes, Daddy, it makes my hair stay the same all day. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. They've got that quite nice, I always quite like the scents to them. They've got that sort of gold yeah. classic barber shop. Yeah, that's yeah, what I yeah. like that. It reminds yeah. me of being in the barber shop. That's it, mate. Like definitely, definitely. Do you know what's funny? Do you know what gives me the nostalgia? <laughs> Sounds weird. I didn't do it. I done it by accident today. I was trimming my beard when I got here mm. and I smelt my comb. <laughs> oh, no, really. And it's that barber side yeah. smell. It's that kind of like, it, that just reminds me when I used to have to clean everyone's combs when I was, yeah. a, when I was a junior. Yeah. That's what reminds me of the barber shop, you know. Maybe my experience of a barbershop when I was younger is different to yours though, because I was yeah, I was scrubbing toilets in there at 14, you know, so. Yeah, they didn't have me doing that. Well, you know, you paid your bill then, yeah? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, okay, cool. But yeah, no, it's, um, it, it, I, do, I do agree though, they, they've always got a really nice smell, haven't they? They've always got mm -hmm. something that kind of gives you, like you said, the nostalgia. But they do, they work as well. There's nothing you can fault, you know, they do, they do work. They do exactly what they say they're going to do and that's, that's all you can ask for, right? Yeah. And I'm just working around, using the guy from the right hand side, and just dropping it down. I'm just still staying away from the crown. I'm not cutting straight across the crown yet. Just dropping it down. And then working around to the other side. Now this is where we're going to start the transition. So I'm just moving that length before I start on the clipper work. There we go. So because we are using clippers, I'm going to start by drying the hair off just around here, around the back and sides. And then we can start to work on that descend and blend down to the one. You're happy to go down to a number one down the very bottom, yeah? Cool, mate. Cool. Right, so we'll start on a four, four and a half to be exact, and we're going to work up and off, okay? So again, we want to still keep some length through the corner, but we've got our guide in here already. We've just cut with our, with our um, vertical section, so we're going to work up to that guide. So, guard on, up and off. Like so, dropping it down at the back like we normally do. You can see, because we've already got our guide in, it's not being harsh. That's the thing I do, I want to take away from this haircut is the harshness of a one. So by doing it like this, we're going to just finish off at the number one. We'll still see the number one is in play massively. It's not like we're going to just kind of do a, do a cheat one and finish on a two. Like, don't any barbers watching are a bit older, don't tell me you haven't done that before. When you're saying you're doing a number one, but you're not, you're doing a two. Um, I'm actually going to do the number one, but the way we're going to do it is by blending it out. And that will work really, really nicely because that would just kind of finish off the haircut more than take away anything else about the haircut. I want the textures to come through. Um, I, I just want the change of the hairstyle to come through massively as well, you know. You see, working up and off like that. Keeping the shape, we're keeping, putting the roundness in there, but we're still keeping some shape in there, as you can see. And it looks as though it's blended in. So again, saving me time, effort. 
مثل بوم So the close guard now. This is just starting like the send straight down to the one. Looking a bit lower down. What I'm doing is I'm coming off just where the four started, okay? So you see, the only thing that's moving them is this top part of the teeth. The blade's nowhere near them. Like so. Into the closed guard, into the number three now. Same thing again, getting a little bit lower down. There we go. Back around to the other side now, from the back, around to the right hand side. So my two now, down for me, so there So two, lever down, two and a half, we can up and off the head. Like so. Open off with the two, like so. You see, I'm working up and off like this. So that's blending nicely and seamlessly into the four, which is what we want. Into the two. Up into that two and a half and pulling out as we get to the two and a half. You can see we're getting a nice descending blend. Finally, onto R1. Leave it down. One and a half. Into the two. into the one. I'll do that while I'm here so I can finish off the one side. And flick through the lever just to get a perfect blend. And then you start going this short, go ahead and work the lever a little bit as well just to make sure it's seamless. working through the lever going from one and a half down to one just moving it slowly closer to closed there we go
And just to finish off the neckline, I'm going to take that in nice and uh, tidy. So 0.5, leave it down. There we go. Nice and tidy. Into our blend, start off in the back, like so. We work from the crown, lift it up. And there's my guide that I took before in my vertical section. And I'm just gonna work from there down into the blend. You start to see the length get a bit longer there. There we go. And I'm gonna work all the way down until I get to my one. Here we go. So on this side, as you can see, I'm working from the crown growth. So important that you work with the crown. This is what will make it grow out well, look nice, not stick up. Make it up and off, like so. Just resting the comb nice and gently against the head. That's creating the blend from the fore up into the top. So I'm just coming away at the top of the head. I'm just slowly resting the spine of the comb gently on the scalp, on the, on the actual air. It's against the scalp. Change the mirror, just look at that a little bit there. I'm going to taper this in. A little kick out there, I get the same thing in my hair. Kicks out a little tiny bit. There we go. Tidy up the edges. Again, I'm not like kind of creating anything to, like we said, boxed off before. That's kind of the same terminology I use. Just keeping everything as natural as possible, just a little bit more strengthened up. Them down just to strengthen up the neckline.
There you go. Now, just to finish off, a little bit of scissor over comb, just to make sure that everything's sitting nice and just make sure that crown is sitting in play as well. There's no little bits lying down. We haven't missed. Then all I do at the front is just work through it like that. All that'll do is just give a really nice textured front. So that's what gives that kind of effect of a short clippered haircut or something that's grown out from a clipper. It was about half the weight as when it came in already. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's good. Fun. It just it just all sits very natural. That's just your hairline naturally. All right. Everything else is sitting nice. As you can see, it's, it's not it's not as a kind of sticking up anywhere now, you know. Um, but the main thing is we still get the nice bit of head shape in there for you as well. We haven't just rounded it off completely. There's still a little hint of a corner in there for you as well. So when you get product in there, that'll show it off. All right. Happy, yeah? Cool, man. I'm just gonna blast this through. A bit of cold air. And then, what would you like to wear in your hair today? Do you want to put a little bit of clay in or do you want a bit of powder in? What would you prefer? Uh, I think you go for some yeah? Cool. I think that's probably what I normally use in the morning. So. It's be best to see what you'd use yourself, yeah. all right? So a little bit of clay. This is just the claymation by Hans de Foucault. I don't know if you've ever used it, but... I've not used it. I have heard of it, though. It's good stuff, you know. Yeah. Really good stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's quite... Um, it's got a very good hold. Mm. It lasts all day, like literally all day. No matter how many times you run your hands through your hair, it does last. Here we go. Just rub it in like a shampoo, okay? Do that all the way through, and then just go down like that. And that's where you get that texture from. Out from the crown, always out from the crown. And then just twist. The faster you do it, the more messy it'll look. That's why I've always said like that. You can still have that fringe and play a little bit, but just a little bit more textured. There we go. Happy? Yeah, it looks awesome, man. Yeah, it looks Thank nice, doesn't it, man? Yeah. Thank you yeah, very much. Like, I guess if you went, you know, my, I think my hair does grow like kind of quickly in a way, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I have my hair cut and then three weeks later I can sort of see. Yeah, yeah. Especially on the sides, I suppose. Is it just asking for that more of that natural fade on the sides than something too severe or? I mean, I'd probably look at like, I'd probably, um, I don't know, it's it's hard because I know I know this isn't the way I do it is quite old school. Mm. It's not sort of like the way you get a fade done now. It's all like they probably put the number one in and fade it up. Yeah, yeah. Um you could always ask for a descending blend. I know it, it makes you sound a little bit if you go in there asking for a descending blend, yeah. doesn't you know what I mean? It, it, it might you might sound like you know more than you do. Yeah, um sure. I don't know, mate, to be honest. I, I'd probably just if I was you, I'd go in and just say, you know, look, I, or just take a picture of your own haircut. Mm. And do that. It's you know what I mean? Actually, yeah, I suppose when I, yeah, when I do get the sides clipper, they do always start the bottom and work up. But yeah, if you work at the top and work down, it's a lot less severe because mm. you're not creating you're not creating any line of, of, of blend. Everything's just getting blended straight away into itself. So that's what's quite nice about it, really. Yeah. But uh, I really like that man. It looks good. Yeah, it is. Looks really good. Just a short textured haircut, you know. Perfect. Thanks, man.